So now let us start with the optimal storage on tapes, which is a greedy method and then uh, for, from the fourth module. So first let us discuss about the, just revise the concepts of the greedy method that by, by using the greedy method, we can find out number of feasible solutions. From those feasible solutions, we will be finding out based on the minimization or maximization problem, we will be finding out the optimal solution. So greedy method, there will be sequence of decisions that we will be getting out. And from each decision is locally optimal. And these locally optimal solutions will be finally add up to a globally optimal solutions. So these are the way, uh, this is the way that uh, how we work with the greedy method. Now let's uh, discuss about the optimal storage on tapes. Here, first we should know about the background about the tapes. Um, like in uh, earlier days, uh, the olden days, like computer programs used to store on the magnetic tapes instead of this hard uh, secondary memory, primary memory, and then the CDs, external devices and all, we used to store the data in the magnetic tapes. And then the property of the magnetic tape is it, which will uh, provide the sequential access. If you want to retrieve any program, from the magnetic tape, you have to move like in the sequential access manner only. You can retrieve in that order. Suppose, for example, if you are playing a CD, there is a number of tracks. Uh, the songs list is there. Suppose if you want to play the 10th track, you can easily click on the 10th track and then you can play it. But whenever you are coming to the magnetic tape, it is not that way. It, it provides only the sequential access. So we will see it discuss in the example. Required program are retrieved from the tape for the user. So this is the concept why we are storing on the tapes. Uh, the main objective is when we are trying to retrieve the program, we should retrieve in the optimal manner within the minimum amount of time. So that is the objective of optimal storage on types. It is used for finding optimal retrieval time for accessing programs that are stored on the magnetic tape. So now, so how these programs are like, if you see this one, there are uh, different programs available, which is of different length, can be of any arbitrary length. The sum of the length of all the programs must be less than or equal to the length of the tape. This is the constraint. Uh, order must be defined in which the data or programs are stored uh, so that least this is MRT stands for minimum retrieval time can be obtained. So when we are retrieving, there are different possible ways, right? For different orderings will be there, different possible ways to retrieve the programs from the magnetic tape. From all those, which one is giving the least minimum retrieval time? So that is mean retrieval time. So that is the objective of optimal storage on tapes. Hence the order of storing becomes very important. Suppose if you want to retrieve in the optimal way, you have to store it in the proper order, the optimal order, right? So the order of storing becomes very important to reduce the data retrieval or access time. So now uh, here, if you see, there are n number of programs stored on a tape and li be the length of each program. This n length of the each program will be within the range of one to n. Num total number of programs. Now, TJ, this is uh, required time to retrieve a program. Suppose if I want to uh, retrieve a third program, let us say third program. So the TJ, this J will become three. So the time required to retrieve the third program. That's what the concept over here. Next is assumption that whenever a program is to be retrieved from the tape, the tape is positioned at the front. Yes, one of the constraint over here, let us say, suppose P1 is there, program 2 is there, and then program 3 is there. Suppose for this, the, there are n number of programs, three number of programs, and Li be the length of the each program, right? Let us say that if I am saying this is having the length of 10, and it is having the length of 5, and this is having the length of 3, for example. So uh, at this moment, what will happen? Suppose if I require to uh, retrieve the program 3, this is the time required to, sorry, time required to access the third program, how it will be like, I have to retrieve this program first, 
then retrieve this second time i have to sequential access this is what when we are retrieving it provides the magnetic tapes provides the sequential access so first what you have to do is first you have to retrieve p1 program 1 plus this is the time right so plus and then if i want to retrieve the p2 then also i have to retrieve 10 and then 5 so i have to retrieve p1 plus p2 why this is repeated you can say that whenever a program is to be retrieved from the tape the tape is positioned at the front suppose after retrieving the program one again where the tape is moved at the front so when you want to retrieve the program two you have to retrieve 10 uh, program one and then program two so the time taken to retrieve the program two is p1 length of the p1 plus length of the p2 next if now we know that p3 to retrieve the p3 what we have to do we have to retrieve the program one plus we have to retrieve the program two plus we have to retrieve the program three so these are the total value so how much it is for example this is 10 and then this will be 10 plus 5 and then this will be like what 10 plus 5 plus 3 so what is the total amount 10, 20, 25, 35, 40, and then 43. So the time taken, the time taken to retrieve the third program, the time taken to retrieve the third program is 43. So in this way that we will be uh, working out and then finding the optimal ordering. Next, if all the programs are retrieved equally often, then the mean retrieval time is what? This is 1 upon n and then uh, summation of j. Uh, this is the time, right? Required time 1 to n, n number of programs, tj. So summation, that's what we have done over here. Here, the summation of the uh, program, third program. So for that, we have done in the sequential manner. So the problem is that we have to store them in the tape in such an order that the mean retrieval time is minimum. So here retrieving is not the task, how we are storing. So that's why the name is optimal storage on tapes. How the, the order that we use to store the data on the tapes so that we can optimally retrieve it with the minimum amount of time. Next is the greedy approach to build such an algorithm requires such a permutation that chooses the next program on the basis of some optimization measure. Okay, let's discuss the problem now. Uh, example notes, there I'll be uh, explaining like uh, how, what is the permutation and how we are coming up with the optimization measure and all. Let's start with the uh, program, uh, means the procedure of optimal storage on tapes. So N programs are there, let us say P1 to Pn, and then it is having the different length, so length 1 to length N respectively for these programs, and store them on a tape of the length such that the mean retrieval time is minimum. Okay, according to the order of the programs, the mean retrieve time, uh, retrieval time will be varies yes we uh, the we, the the order that we choose based on that the time value mrt value also varies next is d of i d of i is like decided optimal ordering so what is that decided optimal ordering we will see in the example next is this is uh, the number of programs that we are taking in some particular order what is the ordering Based on the ordering, your main retrieval time will be calculated and it will be varied. And then what are the different ordering values? So that is uh, the decided D of I and then first one is ordering and then D of I. And then the third one is we have to calculate the MRT and then find out the minimum value. So first we have to go with the ordering and the second with we have to go that what is the value of that uh, decided optimal ordering then we calculate the minimum retrieval time and we will look for the what is the minimum value so this way that we continue now let's take an example there are three programs that are stored on the tape n equal to three and different lengths have been given and we have to find out what is the optimal ordering of the storing 
let's find the mrt for different permutations so how many permutations that we can make out here three programs are there so three uh three into two into one that is like six possible ways six possible orderings that we can find out from this three items so three factorial six possible orderings that we can make out so here the question is now these are the different orderings right uh i can take suppose if i am saying that this is the program one one ke baad i can retrieve two and then three or other ways i can go with the next ordering i can retrieve the program one three and two and program two and one and then three so in this way i can uh measure out the possible orderings or possible solutions for this program and from these possible solutions that way we'll be making out which one is the optimal so this way i have written over there and next is what is the next step i have told here first is the ordering ordering is done decided d of i what is the d of i decided optimal ordering that i have to choose from this so here if for example if i want to retrieve this program 1 so how i'll be retrieving the what is the value of 1 program length of uh, first program is 5 and then i have to retrieve the second program so this would be definitely 5 plus 10 and the next i want to retrieve the third program definitely i have to retrieve first program then second and then third so in this way suppose for example this one 5 and then third program i have to what is the value of third program this is the length is 3 and then 3 plus 5 and then next is what sorry for uh, this i have to write 5 plus 3 next is the second program i have to retrieve so i have to retrieve the first program and then the third program the length is 3 and then second program the length is 2 so here how i'll be writing here i required the first program is length is 10 plus 10 plus first program that is 5 plus third program i have to retrieve definitely 10 plus 5 plus Three. So this is for third. This is for second, and this is for this is for first, and then this is for second program, and then this is for the third program. So in this way that we can make out. So these are the decided optimal ordering. So these are the total values summation of this one. So is it over? No. What is the third step? We have to find mean retrieval time. Mean retrieval time is what. summation of this uh, summation of deciding order di by 3 3 programs right the number of programs total number of programs so this is like 3 uh, now so how it will be 38 by 3 and then 31 by 3 so whatever the values that you are getting from that you have to find out which one is the minimum retrieval time and what is the optimal solution is it the one or is it the one this one so that we have to find it out so here mrt is given the values are 12.66 10.33 so 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 values which one is minimum yes 9.66 is minimum so this is the mrt is what optimal mrt the minimum mean retrieval time is 9.66 and then what is the optimal solution optimal solution is 312 what is the ordering of that particular this one so let's discuss about the algorithm so algorithm initially the time taken by the program will be initialized by zero and then you have to retrieve the programs 1 to n programs and the same time so first of our loop is to take the programs right from 1 to n a number of programs to retrieve and then j is like 1 to i means what is the program you are going to retrieve like tj right tj time taken to retrieve that particular this one so 1 to i suppose if i am retrieving the third program this is 1 to third program i have to retrieve so that's why this one is given and uh this is a summation of that tj what is the time taken of that j program and with uh, respect to that length of that particular program so in this way we will be performing the summation and finally mrt is whatever the total time taken by that program 
divided by num uh, divided by number of programs so this is the mean retrieval time so if you see this one time complexity uh, here first what we have to do is we have to sort the um, length of the programs over here so okay let it be that one uh, here first is what the addition of the program length and then we require two loops that's what we have seen here right one loop is to retrieve the programs one loop is to check with the timings with respect to that particular pro uh, program so two loops have been taken one to n programs and time taken one to j programs so the running time of the algorithm is first summation that i'll be doing for retrieving the programs the second summation that i'll be doing for the uh, time taken retrieval time for that particular program and then next is what is the addition value so you, you can say from this actually we have seen in the algorithm two for loops if this two for loops are there we know that n into n that is big o of n square so the time taken for this algorithm is big o of n square time that's it students for uh, optimal storage on 